To the untrained eye, you may think I'm holding four of the same boot here. However, although all part of the Nike Mercurial family, these are four different boots at four different price points. Hi guys, I'm Ollie from Lovell Rugby and today I'm breaking down the detailed differences between the Elite, Pro, Academy and Club boots from Nike and why perhaps an affordable option is the boot for you this season. This boot comes in at £240. It's called the Nike Air Zoom Mercurial Vapor 15. What a mouthful and there's even more detail that goes into the technology behind what makes this boot so unique. The Nike Mercurial family as a whole is known for speed and agility. With the Elite tier model, it does that primarily in two different ways. First and foremost is the lightweight nature of the boot and that comes as a result of the upper. It's called Vapor Posit Plus and essentially is four different layers of material including a speed cage to help lock down that essentially just straps your foot in for the ride and gives you a lightweight platform to beat defenders with. Secondly, what you'll find on the Elite Tier model is a three-quarter length air zoom pocket. Now they take this from the running shoes to give you a bit of extra cushion and spring in your step. This additional innovation to the Elite Tier model of the Vapor 15, for me, is groundbreaking because not only do you have the hyper-aggressive traction of these triangular studs that give you 360 degrees of traction, but you also now have a comfortable ride, which typically isn't the case with sprinting fast boots. It's usually quite uncomfortable, but the cushion in this sole plate really gives you that bounce in your step. And that's what you're gonna find with the Elite Tier Vapor. It's speed and comfort to really enhance your performance. Next up, we have the Pro model of the Vapor coming in at 100 pounds more affordable, 140 pounds for this boot. And I wouldn't blame you for thinking this is the same as the Elite Tier. They're very similar. It's still a classic Vapor. It's lightweight and aggressive. The difference is how they've executed that. You still have the same tooling on the bottom. You have 360 degrees of traction with these triangular shaped studs. However, what you're not gonna find is the air zoom pocket running through the forefoot. You only have it in the heel this time. And it's not something you're gonna notice compared to the Elite Tier, unless you really go looking for it whilst it's on your feet. Also alongside that is the upper. We don't have the Vapor Posit Plus, we only have Nike Skin. The main difference though in terms of quality of materials used with the Pro variation has to be the mesh running through the forefoot. It's just thinner, it doesn't wrap your foot as well. Are you gonna notice it without having the Elite boot on the other foot? Probably not, but still it's not as quality. It's just a little bit thinner. All that being said, this is still a classic mercurial. If anything, it's more of a classic mercurial than the Elite tier because it doesn't have that cushion. It's just raw speed and agility rather than the comfort of the ride. It's not gonna add anything to your game. But it's also not gonna take anything away. A really solid option for only 140 pounds. Next up then, coming in at 78 pounds, is the Academy variation of the Mercurial. Still the same boot in essence, all about speed and agility, again, executed in a different way. We still have the Nike Skin Upper, not the Vapor Posit Plus, but the same as the Pro variation. The main difference this time though comes with the undersole. It's called a multi-ground sole plate. So essentially, it's designed to help you on both artificial and firm ground grass. It's a sort of boot where you're not too fussed with all the latest and greatest technologies. You want to let your playing speak for itself and you're not really bothered about what boot you have on your foot. It's a great option if you still want speed and agility just without all those technological features and an incredibly high price tag. It's a great option. Last but certainly by no means least is the Nike Mercurial Vapor 15 Club coming in at a staggering 55 pounds. I'll say it again, it's still part of the Vapor family. It prioritizes speed and agility. It's lightweight and slightly less aggressive than the previous options, but still in that family. I'd argue that this is a classic 
boot. For that no-nonsense player who's not fussed about all the technical details, and the price reflects that. This might be the boot for you if you're just trying to get into rugby for the first time and don't want to splash all the cash on something you're a little bit unsure about. It's a great option. So those are the differences between each tier of the boot. I want to know which takedown tier you are. Are you a feel good, play good, look good, play good? Are you experimenting with which boot you want to try? Or are you just brand new to the game? Let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel for all the latest information on rugby equipment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.